and I'm here to answer a viewer's request I was asked how do you actually get into the quilt business and that's kind of an open-ended question and I'm not sure exactly which phase of the quilt business she's interested in entering so I just want to first just say off the top of my head some areas that you might be interested in the quilt in business working. you can go through several routes you can be a person that does teaching where you provide lectures and or workshops or classes to organizations M mainly your quilt gills is who you will be mostly doing that for if you're trying to get paid a particular rate the other form of quilt business is you could be a person who actually is involved in the quilt part of the quilt business meaning that you might be someone that be making quilts from start to finish for people that do not quilt or you can be someone who is a long armor who actually long warm quilts the quilt tops of other quilters so that's two ways that you can actually get into the quilt industry another way well. that you can actually get into the quilt business is that you can be a person that makes samples for your local quilt shops so they mostly will provide you with the materials to make a quilt and then once that quilt fabric is no longer being sold or they no longer you need to use your quilt sample then that particular quilt will belong to you another way that you can get into the quilt business is that you can become a quilt shop or you can become a quilt supplier you don't have to be a quilt shop in order to be a supplier of the quilting products and then the final method that I'm going to talk about how you can be in the quilt industry business is that you can be an author. You can be someone that actually writes patterns and or books and or publications like magazines. So those are the ways that I can think of off the top of my head that you can be involved in the quilt business. Now with that being said, her question is how do you get involved in the quilt business? So I'm going to do something very general because... I don't know which one of these business entities she's more interested in going into. So the first thing is if you're wanting to go into the quilt business, you need to make yourself visible to the quilting public, be it the people that you want to make quilts for or the people that you want a long arm quilt for or the people that you want to do lectures to. With that being said, you need to immerse yourself in the quilting field. So you might want to make sure that you are, you might want to join a quilt guild where you're showing your work. And if you are quilting it, then make sure that you let them know that you quilted your work. If it's your own pattern, you want to make sure that they know that it is your, your own design. So that's one way of immersing yourself into the quilt industry. Another way is to use social media when i first started quilting i was actually working full time and i did this as a hobby i actually did it free for many years and what i did was i paid for my own website and that cost me i want to say a little under 200 dollars a year to do that by the time you pay for your website name and then you pay for the actual website itself so I was just sharing my quilts. I had no interest in actually teaching. I just had a lot of quilts that I had made and I thought that would be a good venue for me to just share the quilts that I had been making. It was more like my own history that I was putting out on the internet at that time. And then I have had people contact me through that website to come to their quilt gills. And I will say that I have traveled because of my internet. I've gone to do lecture in Kansas because I was found on the internet. So social media sites like making your own website will actually cost you money, but there's a lot of free social medias that you can sign up with. Um, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, any of those various avenues that are free. You can also even do a blog. I even have done a blog. I just haven't done anything with it more recent, but I've done a lot of that as well. 
And then one of the other things, if you are trying to get into the quilt industry, always have some business cards available. So if someone asks you or inquire about something, you can give them something that's a tangible product that they can actually get back in contact with you instead of just exchanging your number or putting it into someone's cell phone. Having that actual piece of card or paper is a good reminder to them that they need to contact you. So you're going to have some expenses that are involved with trying to start up your quilting business. And I'm not going to even go into all of those. If you're trying to uh, go into a long arm quilting business, of course, you're going to need to have a long arm system. If you're trying to go into teaching, maybe you might need to have a projector. You might need to have a good desktop computer. You might need to have a laser printer to print your patterns. Um... You might need to have display boards, design walls, things like that. So there are quite a few expenses that are involved. And how I got over the hurdle of those expenses is as I was working full time, any money that I made in my quilt business by doing lectures and so forth, I always funneled that money back into my business. So therefore... I wasn't taking the money out. I was using it to buy all the supplies that I would need when I actually wanted to retire and do quilting full time. And I say I do quilting full time. I do do quilting full time. That doesn't mean that I make a living off of quilting. I get by. I have enough with quilting. I make enough with quilting that it takes care of my own personal needs as well as my business needs. So I'm not making any money with quilting, but I am not losing any money as well. Where I feel like I might lose money is on my YouTube channel because I don't make money for the time that I put into it, nor for some of the products However, that I purchase. Most of the funds that I receive on from YouTube I do immerse that also back into my business. So I am not using my business to enhance my lifestyle, but I do use my business to purchase any of my quilt related items. Uh, some other expenses you might have might be that you need a camera. If you are trying to get into the quilt business and you want to do any kind of social media, you're going to have to have a good camera. You can actually use uh, phones if you like um, but it's also great to have an actual camera as well and then just think about all of the little tiny expenses I already mentioned business cards but you could have postage fees involved um, that might be involved in you getting contacts through to quilt guilds or any other organizations that might hire somebody to do your particular type of services so Basically, you've got to get yourself out into the quilt world be, to be known as being a quilter, someone who can do the particular type of quilt business that you're interested in immersing yourself in. So that's my suggestions for how to get into the quilt business. This is just my opinion. I don't think that I uh, know everything. I'm sure there are some, are some suggestions that I can get from my viewers. And if you have any suggestions that can help this viewer get into the quilt business, business and I'm not sure exactly which area please leave them in the comment section below so that's it for this video everybody thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload I go live or I post and, in the uh, community see you next time everybody